If you're looking for quick and easy spring DIYs, stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you're new to my channel or if you're returning, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you four spring DIYs. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. This way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment. I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. So let's get started on DIY number one, the birdhouse. So I got this little birdhouse from the Dollar Tree in the craft section. And I am going to put it together using my hot glue. And then I am going to use uh, some of my chalk paint and give it a coat of paint. Oh, it comes with glue. <laughs> I'm gonna use the hot glue gun though.
So I got the birdhouse together, now I'm going to paint it. And here I'm going to paint this gray. I wanted to use, uh, I had intended to use white chalk paint. I thought that I had some, but I didn't. Um, and since I can't get out to the store to get any, I'm going to go with this gray. Now I'll set this to the side and let it dry. And DIY number two, the bunny pot. Now I'm going to make my little bunny pot. Um, luckily everything here I already had except for the bunny feet and I downloaded those offline I, I downloaded those from online and I'm going to cut the feet out I ordered some feet from um, Amazon but they were way too big so I'm going to cut the feet out and put together my bunny pot
this little uh this little puff ball I got from the Dollar Tree um in the pot came from the Dollar Tree as well it used to be a succulent in here and I took it out goal is to get him stuck in there with his little bottom hanging over the back of the pot as much as I can and now I'm going to add the little tail. Inside, I want the feet to be about like that. This hot blue. There. <laughs> I think that's cute. Okay, and then we're going to add to make it look like he's really, or she, it's a girl, as you can tell, make it look like she's digging down in there. She's really rooting for some carrots. So I'm going to add a few sprigs. And DIY number three, the farmhouse wooden bead garland. I got my uh, one inch wooden balls from Amazon, uh, but I should have known for the price there was something going on. These don't have holes in the center, which would have made my life so much easier to string the beads. But instead, I'm going to have to glue them to a piece of ribbon in order to use the garland, um, in order to use it as garland. So here I'm just going to wrap the twine around this uh, gift card to make my tassel. You can wrap it around as many times as you like. Okay, so I wrapped that about 40 times. And then here I'm just going to tie a double knot. Okay. And then I'm just going to do it again for the second tassel. That light, I don't know why, it blinks. I can't stand it. Then I thought I'd take some of these and put it on the bottom. I am so happy that my husband was able to go ahead and drill the holes in the wooden beads. So now I get to string them as normal.
I'm gonna make sure I have about six inches on the end here so that I have enough to make a knot, a decent knot on this end. And DIY number four is a spring tiered tray using the DIY projects that I created today. I love creating DIYs, especially when I already have all the supplies I need at home. I like each and every one of these DIYs, but I have to say the bunny pot is my favorite. I'd like to make more and I think next time I'll make a bigger one. Which DIY do you like best? Leave me a comment. I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice. With what's going on in the world right now, you guys be safe out there. This too shall pass. Make sure you come back and tune in. I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.